Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Ungodly Geeks Podcast. Our theme this week, we're just kind of going to do a bullshit session. We're going to sit here and we're going to smoke a hookah and we're just going to talk about random topics. So I'm Joe. And I'm Ron. I'm Luke. <laughs> <laughs> that was way over dramatic. <laughs> All right, Kevin That was Smith. the point. <laughs> yeah, like, oh my God. What is this <laughs> fucking Smodcast? Yeah, oh, I wish. 420 was yesterday, but... You know what the bad it's thing is? Anyway. It's is that 420, you know, I had it all for like the first time in seven years, and I had no way of celebrating. Because mm. I don't have connections anymore, because they all got fired from work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I know people I could get it from. It's just, uh, I don't want to spend the money on it. Just wait two and a half, three more years, and then you got a month to celebrate it. Yeah, a whole month. Yeah, yeah that'll be go. a good month. I swear I'm going to be smoking by then. Hopefully it's legal by then. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm hoping for because, it's, it, I, you know, uh, let's, be let's be honest here. It's harmless. Yeah. Jeff Sheston doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> it's, as bad, it's as bad as heroin? Are you fucking out of your mind? Show me one person who smokes weed habitually. Well, maybe not one person because I'm sure there are people out there who are just losers in their own general life. But, like, you show me someone who's addicted to marijuana who doesn't pay their rent. <laughs> you know? it's, like that, it's like that Eric Porter stand No, Chris up. Porter. Chris joke. Porter, yeah, yeah. I always get that confused. He's like, you know, I smoke weed and shit. I don't, you know, I can pay my rent. Yeah, I still pay I, my I, rent. I, I do fucking meth or cocaine. Like, I don't need a house. Yeah, yeah he's talking, I think he's talking about, isn't he talking about heroin? He he's like, he's like, like, he's like, he's sitting there like. Try heroin yeah. once. I don't need a house. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I smoke weed. I still pay my rent. People on heroin are like, "Fuck it, we don't need a house." <laughs> and yeah, I mean, and so he 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 said he well he had a goal where he was going to get to eighty. He's like, "Fuck it, I'm trying heroin at 80. <laughs> so I was like, "Yeah, okay." People can't be like, you know, oh, we, oh God, he they, he, he died was too soon. It's like, no, no, he he's, he's good, he's, he's good, <laughs> he's good, he's good. <laughs> he, did, he did it all. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I'm I'm really. I'd like to be legal by then. Right. That's when I stopped. I thought we were going to get it legal for sure in Ohio, and then no, no, that people fuck happen. that up because marketing and not reading, not being able to read. It's like if both bills would have passed last year, we would have had legal marijuana without the monopoly on growing, which would have been amazing. But yeah. you know, people were like, "No, we don't want the kids to get the weeds." It's like they. No, that's yeah, not so, what that would have done. That's random. not how that would have worked. Oh, man, I thought Dark Souls was done. There's another DLC coming out. Is there? It's called The Ringed, the Ringed or The Ringed City. No, that's already out. Is it? Yeah, that's I been out that for months. Out. Oh, yeah. fuck yeah. I mean, I haven't played them. Yeah, no, that's I'm been out like for a while now. Uh, maybe not months, but it's been out long mm. enough that people have already you know completed it. It's, right it's a thing. I watched, uh, watched okay. a guy play it. and Never um, mind, yay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's already out, man. You're good. You can go home and have some fun with Dark Souls if you call that fun. Yeah. I, hey, I'm you know a what? Fucking masochist. As far as I know, the third one was great. I still haven't tried uh, tried it out, but I want to. No hate, but it's not my thing. Yeah. I tried playing Lords of the Fallen, and I dug it. Right. And it, I I understand. I'm, it's my understanding that Lords of the Fallen is much slower. It's yeah. It's have a rip off. It? Yeah. It's like it's, in slow motion compared to Dark Souls. It's not oh, yeah. as uh, you don't have to be as dodgy. Dark Souls and is like it balls was, to the wall. You're gonna get fucked. I you ran into like fucking game breaking bug walls yeah. where it's like I don't even know what the fuck I'm supposed to do <laughs> at this point. <laughs> I'm just running around killing the same enemies after I inevitably die. I think there's quite a few games where they were like, "Holy shit, look at what they did!" and they're making that much money. Let's do that. Right. Except they didn't build the game right. They didn't take the time to build around it, so they ended up with things that were glitchy and just not polished and you can't do that nether like either not nether realms but um what are the developers of dark souls they they take the time to make those games fucking awesome yeah yeah they they go out of their way i think There's it was a, a from soft is it their name or uh, something from, uh, uh, yeah uh, from J- japan team, team japan or something oh, fuck like man I, team, hey, I forgive us no yeah we, we i don't we, play those i i'll be honest with you um i'm i'm okay at games and I've never been super terrible. I've never been super great either. But I also have a temper, and I know better <laughs> yep. to not play games like that yep. because you want to talk about broken controllers, I'll have a broken PC because I'll end up throwing mine out the fucking window. Yeah. And it's like, Speaking I don't, don't uh, want to do that. That's, that was uh, – we talked about it last week, but uh, 
Ninja Gaiden Black. <laughs> yeah. I did break one uh, and a half Xbox, original Xbox controllers on that game. And, it's and like, I enjoyed it. It's like for so. me, when I was a kid, I want to apologize to my dad for like the millionth time. I broke like 40 Nintendo 64 controllers. <laughs> like just, um, just smash them. Speaking of uh, that game, that developer in Dark Souls, there's I want to plug a fucking nice little fucking YouTube channel that uh, I stumbled upon. This guy has – it's called Boundary Break, and uh, he basically jumps out of – jumps through walls. Yeah, is, and, is it the guy that, like, glitches out of the yeah. wall, the boundaries and just yeah, exactly. runs around and, and does uh, real – Yeah, I've, I've watched that. He did it for uh, Dark Souls 3 and, far, like, fucking – like, you, there's, you're never going to go over there. The shit you see off in the distance. Yeah. He goes over there. It's all, like, accurately sized. It's all – like they took the time to model it. It, it is like a legit area, right. but you just can't go there. So it's not <laughs> like it's, it's miles from you. It's and not you're like never that level there. was did the dam in Goldeneye. How you're looking out, you see that island, and if you ever yes. get to it with a game shirt code, like everything is half modeled and it's falling yeah, apart. It's like I don't know. You need to watch, like check, like I don't know why they would do that. They put a whole lot of high, uh, time and effort right into those areas yeah. that you're never going to see. Well, it's like. Um, Skyrim did that with areas outside the map that everyone thought pointed to DLC. Um, for, uh, no, I thought they did because after map. after what would be an equivalent of maybe a few hundred meters in our real world, everything gets like nothing. Oh, okay, it just goes to a nothing thing. Like you see a tree, you're not looking at a tree; you're looking at what would be paper mache in real world so it's just, oh, okay i thought he's, uh, there was a big but but about. but there is a point where um you can go to vardenfell with a mod and uh, like and you can look at red mountain sort of oh okay. it's sort of kind of there and then there's the shadows of morwen which adds it in greater detail but and you can even see what was it the white gold tower i think down yeah, in, yeah 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 it's partially mod or partially modeled or something yeah like yeah that. If you search Boundary Break, you'll get it, but his channel is called Shazez, S-H-E-S-E-Z. Yeah. I've, He's I've, got, like, a Resident Evil 4 video, and... I watched his um, Super Mario 64 video. Halo. Um, and a couple of his Legends of Zelda videos, so... I'll have to check it out. Oh, you guys are sitting there talking about stuff like that as modeled. Um, there's a Fucking Doom mod. <laughs> there's a Doom mod um, called the Hell on Earth Starter Pack, which comes with Brutal Doom. Which is another Doom mod, yeah. and there's a level where you're fighting in a constrained area that's I, I I don't know tunnels and shit, but off in the distance you can see like a burning city. So if you sit there and you turn on no clip mode and you walk out there, everything there is modeled. Yeah. The buildings are buildings; they're not just a background there. And you can you can sit there and you can run from building to building. There's no secrets. There's no monsters. There's no items. But it, like you said, it's fully modeled. And it's like you know he didn't have to do that. And this is one dude developing this whole thing, yeah. and he went he went that far. Doom develop, man. The people still still make stuff for Doom. Blow my mind with the um, amount of stuff they do, even just, when it's just porn. It's just yeah. it's so like, beloved oh, that Doom. it's it will never die. Right. People will never let that game die. I mean, in thirty years, yeah, the same thing. Will like be going on. what what really saved it was it back in the what was it nineteen ninety eight ninety nine when they open sourced the engine. And then people started mm-hmm. taking it and just making it better, adding stuff to it, fixing bugs. And you got, you got the stuff like Zed Doom and GZ Doom and Xandronium and all these ports that are capable of so much cool shit, like adding jumping to Doom. Like, dude, you you don't realize how much jumping can break a Doom game until you play a game with the to play until you play Doom with the ability to jump. And all these puzzles that were like difficult to solve before, just oh, I can jump up there now. Fuck you and your puzzles, John Romero yeah. and all that. Yeah, that was uh, just completely off of video games. But that was something uh, back in, I want to say the '90s. That was, I think, Wizards of the Coast or whoever owned uh, the Dungeons and Dragons brand back then. They had open sourced um, Dungeons and Dragons, essentially the D20 system. Right. So you got books from tons and tons of different people. Lots of campaign mods. Um, D20, D20 Modern came out from that, I believe. Like, you had tons and tons of content. People were making stuff left and right. And then Wizards of the Coast came back and made everything copyrighted and got rid of, wiped all that stuff clean, right. you know, when they created the next edition and kind of disappointing. But if you play those old editions, there's like, there's fucking 
thousands and thousands of pages of content. Right. Of just lots of stuff. Modern, not modern. Uh, I think that's where some of the, like, old fate systems came from. Like, it's pretty cool. Right. So what have you guys been listening to? Um, I've been listening to a lot of corn lately. Just, I just yeah, decided to go on a corn yeah. kick, you know. Um, I'm not sure why. Just... <clears throat> Uh, I, I realized you don't uh, need a reason why. Reason yeah, that, to that's true too. A friend of mine asked me if I'd listened to the latest album. I'm like, no, I haven't yet because I've just I've just been doing other things. And it was surprisingly good. It, yeah. Yes, it's I have to say it, they, it's like they went back in time a little bit. It had right. a lot of the heavy fucking riffs that they used they used to hear. You just but he he's the one. Anymore. Yeah, um, but he's the one. He asked me if you listen to it. I'm like, no, I haven't, but I will. And it's like. I realized they're not in my regular rotation, and I don't have a reason why. I just never yeah, listen to them. There are some songs that like of theirs that will never leave my playlist. Right. Like, I got to say, though, they've done a lot of weird fucking covers, man. Yeah, like, just a lot, of them. a lot of them. Hey, even uh, uh, Nursery Rhymes. That's my yeah, favorite like, covers they've yeah, done. Well, that, you're going, that's, like, that's, that's corn. my corn mm-hmm. when I was growing up, and I fucking I fell out. Of like the last album I remember going fucking insane over there of over of theirs was fucking issues. Right. Mm-hmm. I had a it was back in the day I had a shitty little C D player and that's the only C D I had. <laughs> I had well, I had uh, uh Kid Rock's Devil Without a Cause, but I I'm so didn't sorry. listen to that for I'm, obvious I'm, reasons. I'm so sorry, man. Uh, <laughs> and I would just fucking uh, listen to corn right, over and yeah. fucking and over yeah. and over and over. I've, I've been listening to like the same hundred or so songs Issues. from them over the last couple of days, and it's like, why the fuck haven't I played these guys before? And I have no reason. I just yeah. haven't. Yeah, that's like, I you try to like take that and jump off use them as like a jumping off point to hit on another band like if you're gonna listen to corn you might like now there it's not fucking like heavy and shit but right. you might like a band like fucking orgy or obviously like old fucking manson right yeah i mean we're gonna talk about not heavy bands like okay i listen to sticks from the 70s and 80s like they are as about as far from heavy. Go as back like, and uh, you know. <laughs> and fucking watch the Family Values Woodstock tour. Every band on there, except for like, I don't know if Limp Biscuit was on it. I don't know if they were. That, I think that was a little too late for them. <laughs> but like, obviously, we're not listening to fucking Limp Biscuit. Oh but, my uh, god, seeing them at Louder Than Life, like seeing that they were there, blew my fucking mind. I didn't know they were still a thing. Fucking insane yes. for Kid Rock and Limp Biscuit and these, like. Judas fucking Priest didn't get the fucking pop that yeah. Limp Biscuit got or Papa Roach got. Like Papa Roach <sighs> was fucking slaying when they went on. Oh yeah, no, that was that was the last day. resort. Yeah, I that was that surprised me more than Limp Biscuit. That was the that's it's the, the rowdiest fucking. I'm. It bothers me. I've been to a lot of shows. Mm-hmm. That the rowdiest fucking show I've been to, like jumping around like crazy, like. <laughs> Crazy fucking annoying people. Right, was a fucking Papa Roach show. I don't know. Limp Biscuit was pretty crazy. I mean, yeah, but I we, was, we were fucking way out. Yeah, in the no, back, we, we were off in the whatever, pavilion, man. like hundreds of feet away from that. Because who the fuck wants to really see that? We didn't even stay to watch. I, I'll Kid be Rock. honest. I was no, happy. we left when yeah, we, we left. We when left Kid when, Rock went on. When he, right, yeah, as they were prepping his stage, we said fuck it. And that yeah. was it for us. We were done. <laughs> I, I, even though, even though I uh, I can't say I'm a huge fan of them, just hearing Limp Biscuit songs again kind of reminded me I, of like my edgy <laughs> junior high days. Because I I can't lie, I listened to Limp Biscuit. I, I, yeah, I did. did uh, I did. Hot dog flavored chocolate starfish and chocolate yes. starfish. Yeah, I hate that they have one of like a gu- a guitar player that I really really respect and yeah. I really dig is in that band. I think his name's Wes Borland. <laughs> He's the guy that does the crazy face. Right. He was in yeah. Manson. He was with Manson for like a week <laughs> and, uh, before he realized, you know, it's it's the Manson show. Right, when you're in that band. You don't right. have a fucking say. No, yeah. I mean, um, and and, 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 and you look at the name of the band. Yeah, it's just Manson. So right. Hey, what are you gonna do? Speaking it's- of Manson, I'm really hoping that he releases Say Ten next fucking month. He put it off. It was supposed to release Valentine's Day. Right. And uh, he released it. This is the fucking year of everybody pushing their albums back. Motionless was supposed to have released. He's, he promised. He said he's going to release he, Chris Motionless. Right. No, like, I, I like, got that. Like, guys, we're 
we're aiming for fucking winter right 2017 now that could be early or late but no it got pushed back to like fucking june <laughs> fantastic which is rad i'm really only looking forward to those two um fucking demu demu Demi Borger. Mm-hmm. They're supposed to have an album coming out this year. I think Mastodon uh, just released an album recently. They did, it? but I haven't. I don't know why. Once more around the sun. Yeah. I fucking love that album. I the bands do this thing now, and it's it's just the way it is. The way they have to get to market their their stuff, make their money. I guess because they're all doing it now. They'll re- they won't release, like, one song right. or two songs, two right. singles. Right. Like, A Day to Remember did it. Five of the first, like, four of the first five songs, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. Were songs they released or released prior to the album yeah, being um, released. Yeah, I think, I think and that's... And I, I go to listen to the album, and I'm like, dude, I've heard half the fucking album. Right. You've killed any excitement. Mm-hmm. That, that I any any excitement that I had that right. I built up to like yeah yeah I mean it's gone it's gone you have ruined I, it I'm I listening kinda, to this album like yep I've heard this shit before I kind of felt the same way and I had to listen to the album I was like, crushed it, when it's I a, listened it, to a day to remember it's album. a good album I like it yeah I love a day I mean, to remember but it took like a, it, it took a bunch of listens and if it wasn't for the deluxe edition that I got with the two ex, two or three extra songs it it, it kind of would have been just the same old shit. I mean, I, like you I, were saying. I mean, I won't hate on it because it's them. Right. No, it, it's a good album. Uh, when it compare it to everything else they've done, I yeah. thought it was pretty fucking weak. When Bad Vibrations and Paranoid, Paranoia was were the two best songs, I think, and they released those two songs first. It's like it's, like it's like it's like a movie in a movie. Cuts a trailer. Show and me the first all, thirty-five minutes, forty minutes of the fucking movie. It's like <laughs> it's like when it's like when they cut a trailer and all the good scenes are in the trailer, but then none of those scenes pop up in the movie, so the movie is just disappointing. Lamb, yeah, Lamb of God. I mean, even oh, my fucking beloved Lamb of God was even doing it when like just stop, just right. stop. Yeah, and back to Mastodon. They really they 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 dropped like four fucking songs early. <laughs> And it's like a twelve song <laughs> and, album. Or I mean, something it's like not that. bad, right? I haven't, like I said, I haven't listened to it. I've heard, I've heard those three or four songs. I think I, three of them. I might be missing one, but it killed every any hype or excitement that I had for yeah, the album. And I just yeah. haven't fucking. Yeah, like, it's, like it's I'd rather to just them. go. I'd rather keep listening to, you know, Motionless and fucking right. Goldsby and Blitzkid and my fucking horror punk and. My Chemical Romance. Dream about being a fucking good guitar player. <laughs> <laughs> one day, Ron, one day. One day. Just, I, I, you you got to practice, man. You, you got to keep at oh, it. Believe me, I'm beating my head against the wall. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> every I feel bad day. for that wall. Every fucking day. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you, you got to keep, you got to stay on it, man. Just like, yeah, it, it's weird because yeah. uh, it's, I'm not one of those naturally talented players, um, you, you like you all. You're always gonna feel like you're lacking right. and shitty. Yeah, but you have to stop and remember, like the first time you picked up a guitar or the first time you tried to play a fucking chord and right. you couldn't. Like fucking four of the six strings on the guitar were fucking muted and you <laughs> couldn't even play a goddamn a clean chord. <laughs> and Obviously, it's like, it's you'll like, notice you know, it's, it's how, much you, how far you Foreigner's going. jukebox hero, man. That's that's yeah. what you got to you got to shoot for that. Mm-hmm. That's what you got to do. Get a guitar, know it's going to be your destiny, and then just make it happen. I still wonder if um, that guitar trainer or whatever that game is uh, was any good. That you oh, had oh, second um, coal still hot. Plug. Uh, I don't know. Let me check. Will you plug an actual guitar into it? Oh, um, uh, gar- yeah, Rocksmith. Rocksmith. Uh, yeah, yeah, Rocksmith. I've heard good and things, bad things about that, but. It's like I'm not going to spend eighty dollars on it. I have a fucking amp and a guitar and YouTube at yeah. my disposal right. already. Just pick up a fucking guitar, right? Anything yeah, I mean, what is it? YouTube? Don't be sold on this fu- on a fucking gimmick. Just play guitar, right? You you can find and with YouTube you can find almost and you, you can learn how to do anything on YouTube, like almost literally. Hey, I replaced the window on my car with YouTube. Uh, already, right. already better. <laughs> already hit better. Yeah, sometimes you just need a little extra. Yeah. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, we'll yeah, no, in YouTube, you can find fucking God. tutorials for everything. What's that? You want to build a microwave? Fucking go to YouTube, it's man. Goldsby <laughs> released that fucking song last night, his newest song. I pre-ordered his album. 
uh, last week. But, um, that, but that that begs the question: Is it like God is damn. he doing the same thing everyone else is doing? Releasing no, eight well, see, songs on his fucking album. I don't think Goldsby's gonna do that. He's never had a fucking video video. Mm-hmm. When I saw he released a video last night, I was like, oh fuck! I was driving to work. Like, was how, that the almost, guy you messaged? Yeah, I almost okay, pulled I over to watch the honest, fucking video. Because uh, I've been listening to, like, this dude's released, like, uh, three or four EPs. And right. Yeah. He, uh, it's not on Google Play, but on his website, he released, like, uh, it's, uh, his album Saturnalia of the Accursed. Like, just above Bandcamp. And put all, of his EPs, <laughs> yeah, yeah, put all of his songs together from his EPs into mm-hmm. one full length. Mm-hmm. But I had heard him. Fucking over okay, and over uh, and over. back to the Bandcamp Ad thing. Nauseam. Google Drive is just above Bandcamp. Okay, really? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> all right. The dri- Bandcamp is the uh, uh, SoundCloud of rock. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so I'm, yeah. I'm so hyped for that because, like I said, I've been listening to like 14 total for like three or four years, and this he's about to drop a 17 song fucking album. So he's he's actually uh, finally releasing a full a full a month, CD. That sounds pretty good. The first song last night. It's called. So Vo- you think it's Vo- signed? No, he's he's oh, okay. solo. still independent. Yeah. Uh, uh, so he, uh, is he is he with no name? Is he kind of doing the Tech Nine thing where he's just building his own? Hype he does slowly? his own thing. Yeah, he, he seems pretty self made. I respect the it's fuck cool. out of him. Yeah, like he was in a, a very renowned horror punk band called Blitz Kid. Right, I've heard of um, them. And they started out as they had like a skater sound, and they eventually they got you know much more like. The fuck punk, is punky I, I riffy? Ask, the fuck is horror punk? Like as a misfits. genre? Oh, okay, I think misfits. There All you right, go. Yeah, misfits. Misfits. I was just called the, thought they were punk. But. The Bible. Okay, they're the original. Yeah, there's uh, this. It's, it's oh, completely off topic. So there's this guy that comes in uh, in the mornings sometimes during the week, and he's total classic punk rock guy. Uh, cut off jean vest or uh, <laughs> jean uh, coat. Cut off sleeves. Like me and Jeremy. Covered, yeah, but covered in yeah, pumpkin uh, patches. Yeah, and that motherfucker. Really shortcut hair. Yeah, like classic, classic punk. I got time and, for that shit, man. Yeah, I ain't got I time to, to macrame guy. my fucking my vest. <laughs> yeah. and you, know what, you, you don't want to put flair on your vest? This dude, yeah. like, every time he comes in, I'm like, this dude's gone and beaten some ass before. Like, he's kicked the shit out of some people. Right. Don't and be some, fooled. He's some probably a puppy dirt. dog, like fucking me. Well, or, like, that's the thing. Fucking Jeremy. <laughs> he, came in, he came in just. Like, you're uh, so intimidating. I'm like. Yeah, man. <laughs> he came in two days ago <laughs> with uh, his daughter, the, the little adorable girl, pink dress in the front of the cart, and I was just laughing. I was like, all right, he hasn't let fatherhood take out of his uh, punk side. <laughs> yeah, uh, fatherhood Fatherhood uh, took my hair away. I cut my hair. Yeah. But well, that's, yeah, because having it. the kid pull on it constantly, I'm, like, oh, oof, fuck and that shit, And you ain't got shit, time dude. to fucking right. manage that shit. <laughs> and I, I, like that was probably the same reason. Like I used to have long hair when I was younger, and that's probably one of the same reasons I cut mine because I got tired of people pulling on it. It was like, come on, and it's dude. just it's just a lot to keep up with. It, it seems like just put your hair up. Well, yeah. you just you go ahead and put your hair up about thirty eight times a day, <laughs> right? Yeah, keep I'm it like out of the no, way. it's just not an option. I've had yeah. I had long hair down to my ass pretty much for right. like. Six of the last ten years. Yeah, I, so. I won't. I won't be able to stand my long hair that much longer. Like I, yeah, I, dude, I I'm impressed. Take out J- of it now. I feel bad for Jake because Jake really wants to grow his hair. Out. <laughs> and uh, Jake's hair, it's just I don't know what it is about that guy. His hair just won't grow. And yeah. you're just I, I think like, it won't. It, 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 just it grows, grow. just not in the way Jake wants it to. Well, it curls too. Like well, like he's, I, I, he's, he's one curl. of them guys. Right. He's gonna have to well, grow his hair for a very long time. And uh, we should get him some rogaine for Christmas. Yeah. Help with help with the hair growth thing. He just has really <laughs> thin, dead. Uh, that's just the type of hair he's it's got. Hair, Fine yeah. hair, yeah. I've he doesn't have like thicker. the fucking thick hair like me and you. Mm. That's probably it. I don't. I don't. I'm, I don't fucking know. If you guys are curious, I have almost no hair because I started balding at 22. That's so sad. Thanks, genetics, or whatever brought that on. Maybe it was suave shampoo. Yeah, I oh, mean, the, I was. I tell everybody, you know, the moment I start, my hair starts yeah. to go. Yeah. I'm not going to be fucking Brian, that guy Brian. Yeah, who no, works no, no. At work, who fucking, he's got a forehead. All, it goes all the way back 
the back of his <laughs> fucking head. He's got an 18 head. head. Still rocking a fucking ponytail and long hair. Like, you're not, you're accept, not gonna, you're, accept it, man. Just just get not, rid of it. You're not going to be like Chris <laughs> Porter, just long-haired, bald dude? <laughs> <laughs> no. like, that, that's, 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 that's the way I feel, too. Um, like, like When this Deal up top, it. when it thins out to the point where there's just nothing left, I'm just going completely bald with a razor. I'm just shaving it, and I'm going to keep it that way. Because yeah. I'm not going to sit there and try to delude myself. I'm not going to go and get hair plugs. I don't. I don't. I don't care that much. You know, God, those look awful. They do. They usually like. I, I'm good. I don't want to be bleeding from the top of my head for six months because mm. I wanted to have hair up there. It's not worth it. I to wanted me. ass hair up there. Yeah, I don't want ass hair on my head. I. It's bad enough. I have the hair that I have, so I don't <laughs> want. I don't want pubes and yeah, it's, and it's gone. Lower back hair. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, so when that, so I, yeah, I've already decided. I decided like five years ago. And when it got to a point where there was just no point in trying anymore, I was just going to razor that shit off, man. Get a straight razor and just... Just get rid of it. It's not worth rock it. The right. Old fucking stone cold. Yeah, yeah. Rock, rock the bald look. Because I, I, I look pretty all right bald. So, I mean, fuck it. I'm, I'm going to embrace it. Haven't you done that before? I have. I thought you have. Yeah, I went completely bald about uh, two and a half years ago. I, I, was, uh, I just cut my hair randomly, and I, I think... I was trying to trim some of the shit up front, and I accidentally went a little too far with the with the. I said, "Fuck it," just buzzed it all like off. People have different. Or, this is so such a terribly fucking inter- interesting topic, <laughs> but I always imagine God that shit would be rough. Fucking shaving your fucking head with a razor. I, I imagine it probably up, probably would be. Well, I'll be honest with you. I'll probably buy like a woman's razor mm-hmm. with like the fucking yeah, I always the, tell the, the, the like smooth, giant smooth. Don't be thing. Yeah. don't be weird. Just buy a fucking Venus razor. They're yeah, ten times it, dude. better, dude. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like like our razors are better for like the face and like maybe the legs because I know women who will buy. Men's you know, razors. like five, four or five blade razors over their own shit. But when it comes to my head, I'm gonna buy. Yeah, I'm gonna buy one of those big ass Venus razors with like the fucking soap around they, uh, it that smooths everything else you go. Them, uh, but I haven't seen them. They make basically just to make you feel more comfortable with it. I guess it's like blue, the blue guy version. <laughs> <laughs> you know, of no, that, you know that what? Kind no, no, fuck it. Now. I, I'm fully embracing it, and Just I'm buying a pink, pink one. Yeah, I'm <laughs> going. I'm going as pink as I can get it. I don't care because I want to be comfortable. Yeah, I mean, not only that, like you're not going to carry it around. And be like, this is what I shaved with. This is what I shaved my Hi. head with, guys. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, it's it's going to sit in my bathroom for a month until I forget about it and throw it away and buy new ones. I mean, so I shaved my head and balls with. <laughs> hey, hey it's got to be smooth down there too, yeah, right? You either one. If you nick it, you're going to bleed forever. Yeah, no, I've totally experienced <laughs> it's that. It's going to be okay yeah. though. No worries. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I, I'm totally, I'm totally embracing my baldness when it finally happens. Like, yeah. I'm not fucking around with that. I'm not going to delude myself. I'm going bald. I know I am. Fuck it. I I realized very quickly that I have no idea how to take care of long hair. Right. When uh, I was like, I'm like, I, I still have knots at the end of my hair. And I'll fucking, you gotta you gotta uh, comb it. You gotta comb it constantly. Just, yeah, which okay. I don't do. We sell like just a tip. There, they do make a difference. Get like a de, a de and I say this in quotations. Yeah. De, yeah. A detangling spray detangler brush. Oh, okay. Sell them over there. Like really fine and. uh I think they run like four bucks like, too. It's like, I, it's like I, brushing yeah, your I hair with things. with God <laughs> after brushing your hair with a like anything brush. else. Basically, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, after I let my hair grow out, I realized very quickly that I have like like really nice hair, like super soft. So I was like, I kind of like this for a while. Yeah, and but, then but you got you got you got to stay on top of, of exactly. actually caring for it, which is like what Ron said. You got. I didn't you know you weren't going. supposed to wash it every day, like. Well, dude, I mean, you can. Uh, well, condition it every day. Well, take right. a fucking shower every day. You don't yeah, wash your do. let, let the hair, hair walk. Let, but, uh, let the yeah. water run through. I usually and would go like brush it and shit. More often than not, I'd like skip a day. This is the yeah. fucking hair care podcast. <laughs> this is no, uh, well, no. Like I said, this is a general bullshit podcast, but, um, and maybe you'll yeah, learn something. But yeah. every time you do, don't be a fool. Mm. Fucking. Get get condition your fucking hair and oh, yeah. and, and don't buy bullshit. It makes a difference. Yeah, don't don't no, buy like VO five like, or suave. Like buy yeah, some don't, good. Don't shit. throw in the towel. You're fucking. You're starting to reach fucking Viking status here, dude. Now, I mean, you need, now you just need to go fucking shaved on the sides. 
essentially what I've let it do is go – Get like, some fucking face paint. And start like, braiding, braiding your goatee. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should totally do that now. Start you calling get your, you a monomarf. I, I can't I – can't, one, I don't know how to braid the goatee. I'm sure you can find somebody who will do it for you. stay like – straight it kind and of you gotta poofs. throw like fucking god of war fucking like yeah. bedazzled like metal pieces in it <laughs> like I going from, with like uh, the, from wwe yeah a double a double braid double there braids, one going yeah. in each direct that would be yeah people talk still, shit as soon as i figure out how to do that i would never do it but that looks awesome yeah that's I would I do it if I could grow the hair. Like, <laughs> like, like you, see, you guys see Jack my beard. Sparrow, but a beard. Yeah, you guys see my beard. Like it grows in patches, <laughs> so there's always like this one spot where it grows, but it doesn't grow as fast. So if I let it go <laughs> long enough, you'll see me mountain man status. But I don't like the mountain man status because that shit's itchy. You just be like Keith Richards, but a beard. Yeah, I'll and, look like uh, and not link from and, and not random like articles Game of from throughout your day and like. <laughs> Like heirlooms. Your, your, your pieces of eight, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Braid them into your hair, too. Just whatever. No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, man. It's like, it's like what Bo Burnham said. What's a pirate minus the ship? He's just a creative homeless guy. <laughs> so you could totally, yeah, that could be your motif, man. You could be the yeah. creative homeless guy. You need to get out of the front end, though. No. Oh. I don't think it'd yeah. work out for you in the up. You know, I don't mind. Fuck front. it. I don't give a shit, man. I don't think most people would I don't care. Get like money up there. Like people see that I have the doctor on my name tag. They fucking love it. Like people have All a field time. day with that shit, man. There was that dude who came in the other day that fucking knew Doctor Who. Yeah. That you wouldn't expect. That was pretty goddamn funny. Oh, that 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 one uh, black guy. Yeah. It was all fucked out. That was that was a couple months ago. Every actually. time I yeah. see your name badge, I think of the movie The Burbs. <laughs> when that guy is like, he's like. I'm the doctor. Like, that's his fucking name when fucking Tom Hanks asks him what his name is. Oh, man. That's, that's a, great a good fucking, fucking movie. campy movie, by the way. Hell yes. Tom I, uh, Hanks. That's my go to Tom Hanks movie. I don't think yeah. I've seen that movie. As a, uh, I'm going to have to add that know, to my list. A, oh, yeah. a, you know, a lifelong uh, spoopy kid. Right. Uh, I wonder if. Is that on Netflix? I wonder. Let's find out. It, it I mean, was at one time, like, a, I think last year. It can't not be on something. Like, that's yeah, a dude. Uh, watch, I'm sure I could find it on Amazon. Watch too. the Burbs. It's like, you know, uptight fucking norms. No. Given this norm. Given this fucking. It is not. Aside from the, the murder part, the. They seem pretty sweet and innocent, like just like you know, I know there was like the creepy family this creepy, moved into this, the this this quotations creepy family just minding their own fucking business. I mean, uh, they were pretty obviously creepy. <laughs> I'll have to find it somewhere. Maybe I can rent. At it. least back when I saw it as a kid. I mean, I was bummed when they be, they when all the norms got vindicated at the end of the movie, and it turned out that they were yeah. murderers. That was. <laughs> hey, I can I can rent it for three bucks. Who else was in that movie? Wasn't uh... you could buy it for three for, for three bucks somewhere? But... Yeah, but I don't have a DVD player. I have no plans on buying one. YouTube. It was almost like a national. Well, that's Blues that's movie. where it is. Okay, all right. Yeah, whatever. Uh, oh, it, yeah, it yeah. Fucking any National Lampoon's movie. Uh, well, maybe not any one of them because they've all just devolved into the like bro. Uh, what, is it, what is it? Frat bro movies now. Well, we won't speak of the What's remake. The, uh, the when did, when was the good. Burbs released? Um, hold on. Because uh, it's 1989. Was it real? I was going to yeah. say because I was. I figured it was released in the early 90s, but it still had that like cheese 80s soundtrack, 80s vibe oh, yeah, to it. Was it was definitely 80s. It had what's his face that that. Uh, Fucking it had Carrie Fisher in it. Pizza, yeah, pizza dude. Where Carrie Fisher Corey was still Feldman. goddamn gorgeous. Yep, a total babe. Yeah, Henry uh, Gibson. Yeah, that. Well, who's the kid? He was in. I, I, he, I don't think he was in the Lost Boys. But Corey Feldman. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Well, yeah. Corey yeah. Feldman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, pizza the, dude. The eighties heartthrob. He just he's just this little douchebag who sits on the fucking porch and like he brings his girlfriend over to watch the show because right. all these fucking weird ass people. Creeping on these poor goth, this poor goth family. Uh, Robert Picard, somebody from I know, he, I know him from Star Trek. Dude, I one don't, of the Star Trek. I don't fucking know. I don't know. But uh, it was it was a good movie. That's one of my favorite you movies know, ever. Oh yeah, you know him from. Um, he was on Voyager. He was the he played the uh, holographic Doctor. That's it's one of those movies where we live. There's this channel. It's called it's Channel sixty four. Back in the day when I was little, they would like every Sunday or right. early in the day they just play movies. Right. Like just movies over and over and over, and that was always one of the movies they had. On. I I remember watching it was like TNT. I remember watching. Then. It yeah, used to be like called Star Six. It used to be called Star Sixty Four. Star 64, yeah. And uh, I actually 
that was actually my first exposure to Dragon Ball Z. I w- it was like really, really early, and I had a black and white 13 inch TV watching Dragon Ball Z <laughs> and that shit. Yeah, that's where I was introduced to uh, Edward Scissorhands and my fucking lifelong fucking uh, obsession with that movie. <laughs> and his life was set. <laughs> Began, yeah. Lord he it. he defined his life by the life of Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> I identified with Edward as a young boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was a weirdo with scissors for fingers too. I'm a man with as scissors. As soon as he for saw Nightmare, f- Nightmare Before Christmas, it was all over. <laughs> you know what? That movie was great. It was great. I but love it set that up movie. The goth community. No, man. It's when I saw The Crow, it was all over. <laughs> <laughs> that was it for Ron. That was, that, this is my life now. This, that's it. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, think- I strive to be Brandon Lee on a rooftop playing guitar. <laughs> Brandon Lee just looks so fucking awesome in that movie. Yeah, I, I, it's such a tragedy what happened to him because yeah. he was, he was going to be a truly it, – it He was going to be a fucking, to watch that movie. a fucking gem, a, a fucking treasure, that guy. Yeah, <clears throat> he would have probably been a movie star still today, I think, honestly. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no, um, I, I could totally see that being a thing. He was Jason Momoa before Jason Momoa was Jason Momoa. I mean, Jason Momoa still hasn't, like, had his breakout yet. Yeah. I think, hopefully, with Justice League, and there's something else this year he's in, that he'll get his breakout. Yeah. Because I want to see him... Dude, he's already got it. He's, he, don't, he don't even need... The movie just doesn't even need to be released. He's... Have you seen those trailers? Everybody, I, I, like, I, everybody's um, fully on board with Jason I, I, Momoa. I've seen He's that. the number one thing everyone's looking forward to. Right. There's no bad press Which, coming. His only look, bad, only movie from that slate where there's zero bad press coming from it. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Because I mean, we like, all have our yeah. doubts about. Yeah, that's what worries Justice me League. about it. Specifically. They got <laughs> Cal right. Drogo. <laughs> Cal Drogo. Yeah. Try to give him shit. I hate that he died. I hate the way he died in Game of Thrones, so man. Quick. That that well, that pissed me it's off. It's not just this fucking. It's just not the the wound they'd done him in. It was the fucking the. She was poisoning him she purposefully. Was, she yeah, that fucking made part. his wound fester. And shit right. Like and I I like he is I like, human. I mean the so and that. the way the way the way Daenerys got her revenge was fucking awesome. Man. Locked her in that thing and just burned the fucking place down. Yeah, I just thought it was kind of fucked up. Like she was. She was, you know, married to this guy against her will. She was raped repeatedly, and they just fall in love. And there's just there's Stockholm just, they're, syndrome. They're so yeah. in love. <laughs> Eventually, she decided, yeah, okay, I'm I might as well accept this. this. This is my. This I mean, perfect candidate for all. Yeah. This is my life now. Yeah, but then you got to think, like, you know, it's just in his nature. He it, that's all he knows. Right. I don't, he he was he necessarily in his mind raping her? Was he doing about? I don't know. I, I, okay, okay, stop, stop really right matters. there. Stop right Let's there, Ron. There, Ron, fucking, Ron, Ron, what Ron. Are they called? Stop, stop. You're going to dig yourself into a hole because you're trying to justify rape. Let's not go that way. Let's just, let's, his, let's just end it now. I'm trying to sympathize with, understand, like, right, how I mean, that's okay. That, it's it's that not. Story but, arc, but man. It's not, but that's the way things were then. And I'm not making that excuse. That's just, that's the only explanation we have as far as he was concerned. She belonged to him, yeah, because that was the deal that was struck. Now I'm not going any further into this <laughs> because that was their terms. That was what GRRM wrote. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not justifying it fit the anything. Setting. It it did though. It yeah, totally can't did. I mean, justify anything he does with them books. Yeah. I mean, fuck ha- you. They're dead. He has an entire chapter. Fuck you. Jon Snow is fucking dead. He's dead. Fuck. Fuck all that story. Fuck all no, that. He's back. That, that story arc. No, he's he's back because the fucking producers. Jumped in front of his fucking storytelling. Well, because that's where he's going. Uh, I think he really I bet he's he's Look, sitting in front of a typewriter. So he has no fucking idea. Which is what why he's I going. don't think the book will ever be finished. Oh, see, that's the thing, though. I mean, the yeah. producers of the show do know how the There's, series. They ends. supposedly yeah. touch base with him. No, no, he he sat down with them and basically right. straight told them this is how it's going to end. Yeah, well, I don't know how I'm getting there yet, but this is how everything ends. So that way they could continue uh, the series in case he died from like a meatball yeah, sub gl- or something. I'm sad to see it go, but I'm glad that it feels like they're. After last season, they're like, there's only two more. Yeah. Like, they push the shit into overdrive. Like, the end is coming. Yeah. And if there's only... And they shorten the amount of, ep- yeah, amount of episodes. Yeah, was it eight this season and six the last so season? So they got to like get that? shit like moving. Eight and six or seven There isn't going to be a lot like of filler. That. Right. Yeah. So I'm excited for that. Like shit's like going to be going down yeah. pretty fairly don't immediately. Don't extend it more than it needs to be. Exactly. Don't, don't drag it out. Don't, yeah. don't, 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 
and I'll you don't necessarily do have to wrap everything up and put a bow on it. There is going to be there's going to be no bow in this no, story. No, if you've there's ever no end, if you've so ever watched this show, there's there, a cut off. There's no there's no bows. Like, none of it is nice. None of it is awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's just horrible shit is happening all the time. And that is, I think that's yeah. the point of the whole series. Maybe like I don't know. I mean, it, I would think up until Jon Snow came back to life, yeah, that that would buy into that. But there's so many things set up where you get more of a a, 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 like a possible good or at least ambiguous ending. Right. And it's like maybe Man. he always intended it to kind of come out like that, to just be really shitty for a long time. But, I mean, hell, who knows? Towards the end, we could, like, Jon Snow gets killed, Daenerys gets killed, like, and then Littlefinger. Tyrion Finger, ends whoa, up the ruler. No, no, Tyrion I, gets killed, like, and then Littlefinger is fucking uh, I was the, kind, the I, king or some shit. The only, the only issue I'm afraid I of. that. <laughs> The only issue I take with that, because I, I, I remember reading in an article where they did an interview with GRM, and yeah. I think Tyrion would be the only safe character because his wife loves that character. Oh, I remember yeah, yeah, reading yeah. that. So that, That's what I'm I afraid hope. of. Like, I know they're going to hurt me again. I was kind of done before last season. Right. Like, I just well, yeah, I don't need I, to subject myself to this shit anymore. I, I remember and they your brought anger. me back. They yeah. threw in... It was just fucking great, and right. it was satisfying, and it was awesome. Right. And it, I don't... I don't, I don't want to... <laughs> I can't even like say it's just fan service. They just didn't shit on you for right. all season. And right. It felt great. Like dick, big, and I'm, I'm like, I know, like this. <laughs> oh, this was so amazing, and I just know. Yeah, it's. I just know the hammer. Yeah. the hammer is coming down. It's going to strike. Thinking, yeah. I, I think what they're hammer doing is, is they're coming, just they're just slowly arcing it. it back until it can just wham with the hardest that that's they what possibly I'm afraid can. of. And that's yeah. you know if it's just and done well, that's fine. But like just to have Jon Snow shanked before everything is done, like by his was, sister or something. I was a little. Like bu- that. Oh, I was that, a little. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, I mean, that's whatever. What I'm of. That's honestly where. I mean, like, think, yeah, whatever. Two, like, gonna... I have two different thoughts of like how it could go, either good or bad. If it goes bad, I see that. I but, see Sansa. Sansa yeah. just killing him. Yeah, Sansa I mean, but betraying if, him. If hardcore. it's apt, that's yeah. fine. But him just getting like mutinied and murdered and all this shit that I is on want, the horizon is just dead now. I don't. I don't I, like that. I kind of want an ambiguous ending. Throw where, everything away. Where instead of Jon Snow getting dying, because I think you bring a character back like that, I think Jon Snow makes it to the end. In all honesty. I don't see. I think that would just be really fucking stupid John to kill Snow's him off. Jon Snow's dying a hero. No, 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 no. I don't think he dies a hero. I think <clears throat> you have uh, like an un- un- unimaginable amount of shitty things happen to him. Or him and Daenerys like, get sees, married. I don't know, but I think he sees everyone he loves die, or like his sister betrays him. He has to kill his sister, like half sister. Like everything bad happens, he ends up on the throne, an angry, pissed off guy. I don't, th- and it just ends with him like fuck everything. I don't think Sansa would ever go to that extent. I don't uh, think she would. She would want to. I don't know that want ending, man. When they were like praising she might him, and be, he, she she's might just want him staring. gone, yeah. but. I don't think she herself would uh, see, would I, order his debt. Would would have. I see. I don't. I see, yeah, yeah, I say Littlefinger being that. Yeah, he, Littlefinger is. The, yeah, he's going to do something. He's the Him wrench. Littlefinger like, cannot hey, be trusted by so at all. It might anybody. Why? Like your brother is getting all this? Aren't you the I, blood see, relative? I, I see like, what you're. I see. What, what I see that. I see that angle. But it's like at the same time, there was that point where she fought to be reunited with him and looked at him and said, "We need to go take our fucking home back, dude. Yeah. Like it needs to be you and me, and we need to barge our asses in there and kick those dick holes out." Like yeah, see that yeah. Reddit but, post. But then it wasn't her uh, with uh. Uh, like uh, um, fucking god damn it! What's Sansa's mom's name? Oh, um, I can't I'm remember. Blanking. Now. Well, anyways, was she supposed to be Lady, Lady Stoneheart? Yeah, yeah, which ain't gonna happen. No, no, but, I, uh, I doubt that's gonna happen. Which would be a really cool thing. But anyway, she it, it's a flashback, and it's just a screen cap of her standing there telling someone of uh, talking to someone, telling somebody what little finger is like. Oh, he can be trusted. Blah 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 blah. And that ends with her getting her fucking throat slit. Right, uh, yeah. After, you know. After Walder Frey and, sits there and betrays and them to the Lannisters. And her husband's yeah. fucking head getting cut off um, in front of their children and oh, put yeah. on a fucking spike for their kids to look at. Oh, that pissed me off. Oh. I'm so, I I hate the way Joffrey died, but I yeah. love that he died. I don't give a fuck. He needed to. I, I was okay that with that. Yeah, shit. being poisoned. I, it was out of nowhere. Like I wanted it to be more yeah, brutal, but I, no, that's exactly I, I what I'm saying. I wanted. I wanted. I, did, I definitely wanted it to be more brutalized. 
Like, for some reason... <laughs> it I, I brings want, out the best in everybody, this show. Right. And I wanted him I wanted him to be, like, beaten to death by I somebody with can, their bare hands. Up until last season with the Jon Snow shit, I, can all, I think we can all agree that... Uh, <clears throat> fucking... God, why am I blanking on their names? Because they're really fucked up names. Like I don't blame you at all. I mean, yeah, I, I didn't know the names tired. of the characters. I, am so I sleep went by deprived simple right descriptions. Now. Like, like I, I want to sit there. Like the mountain, of course, is a character, but the guy he yeah. fought, who was so fucking cool, I, I can't only remember know him his name. As the Viper. Yeah, the I can't v- remember actual name. Little guy, Tyrion. Tyrion. Yeah. Fuck, what, what, right, how, that one's a little disappointing because Tyrion, Tyrion, right? Yeah. Tyrion is uh, like the best I, character I, I in the show. I think we can all agree Tyrion Although is the I best character in the Peter fucking Dinklage show. For the longest time. <laughs> Peter <laughs> Dinklage, <laughs> Peter <laughs> Dinklage, <laughs> Peter <laughs> Dinklage. <laughs> <Exactly. blah>, <laughs> you don't uh, watch as long like as he's the, a character. The best thing is when, like, when he just fucking shoots his dad with a crossbow while he's taking oh, a while shit. He's on the shitter, yeah. Like I felt that was a really fitting end. I love Tywin. Tywin was a cool character, but he was a fucking dick. And when he when, he when dick, Tyrion yeah. when Tyrion got his revenge in that way, I was like, "Fuck yeah!" I was I was he, was, I was he wasn't an evil character. He wasn't, he wasn't evil though. He was like I, I would Just say he, was, him and he Arya, was lawful like, chaotic. He's a, maybe he's an old dude. No, no, bag. he was lawful evil, guaranteed. Like yeah, yeah, he would could, fall I under could, lawful. Evil. I could totally see that lawful yeah. evil. Yeah, no, totally, you're right because he was methodical mm. and he he had a code that he abided by. But he wasn't necessarily evil. Well, look how he treated his, Arya. His code did not include not murdering and raping women and children. Right. His code was pretty much. I'm fully I will on be board with what you're saying. The top person. Yeah. But all of his interactions with Arya. Oh yeah, they were they were really good. Like they they showed he a more was soft. Very, they, he was they showed very a softer kind side to him. Yeah. To her, and but he didn't he would need kill to be her at all. Heartbeat. Oh, absolutely. Like she's a but threat. He didn't need. He to would be. eliminate her. Oh, absolutely. But like that's why I liked. If there was any. Like he was bad character who ended up winning. I wanted it to be. He Tyler. wasn't. Yeah, he no. wasn't. He wasn't cruel for the sake of being cruel. Right. Yeah. No, he was. He was cruel for the sake of his family. He was cruel for the sake yeah. of his glory. For being better. And being... if there was anyone who could beat the White Walkers, like in in like eventually get shit done, it, it would have been, been Tywin. Tywin. Now everyone's just fucking. And I mean, yeah, like he's, he was one of the last ones where like he was one of the last pillars of like the way of things or. Right. The way things were supposed to How go. you would run a society in that kind of medieval. That, yeah. He was the last one who seemed capable. Yeah. Uh, now you've just ugh. now you've got you've got the you've got the blonde girl with you've dragons. You've got the man, mad queen. Yeah, you got the blonde girl with dragons. Who's, yeah. who's, who's <laughs> shown, my dragons? Shown herself to be sort of competent, but really retarded, like just stupid. Right. She in made some governing. Bad. She, she uh, definitely made some a lot of bad choices. Yeah. Like and I get it. She, she was gets thrown a pass, into leadership though, for obvious reasons. She's Shut altruistic. <laughs> <laughs> She's too altruistic. She which is for this society. For this, what the shit they have to deal with is not possible. I mean, I totally <laughs> admire her for being yeah. the abolitionist that she was. Fuck yeah, free the slaves. That's cool. But didn't take care of. Her. Have a plan, right? You had no plan. Yeah, you, yeah. you just went and said this you is can't wrong. Go into and that's what a they told her. Like that. It's, it's like us trying to clean up North Korea. It would just be a fucking yeah. shit show because you have these people who have been subjugated for so long. They have no idea what life is. Yeah. So what are you going to do? You got to go in. You're going to just play. It's like, okay. It's like what's going on over in Iraq right now. Right. Like you yeah. got to have what, a plan. What's going on? It's been how long? Oh, yeah. I. Ten, not, fi- not, 10, I don't even want to. I have nothing to say about oh, no, politics or years? anything going on in the world. I don't give a fuck. Right. I don't. I could. Care you less. have to rebuild a country. That but, they uh, have to want to yeah. be rebuilt, yeah. and you have to realize that you're going to put an un- ungodly amount of time and money into rebuilding. Something. Oh yeah, there's a lot of she investment. didn't. She fully didn't tear it down. She didn't even think about that. Yeah, there right. was no thought. It was just I'm doing this immediately, and then that's that's why I love the last season when Tyrion comes in is like, you're an idiot. I'm going to help you not be such an idiot. Right. And it's we're going to we're going to fix this shit. It's been so good since then. Yeah, we're going to we're going to fix this shit. Don't worry. Uh, oh damn, that just crumbled. We're, yeah, we're yeah. trying to swap our coals now, guys, and this <laughs> it, this shit's yeah, just with me. This could go very very badly. Don't yeah, you... like don't as long as you don't ruin the equipment, I don't give a <laughs> shit. Like I've got a bad record. <clears throat> I don't know. Not, nothing's been ruined so far. Yeah, no, I, I mean... Aside look, from a few fucking carpets here and there. Yeah, ah, Game of okay. Thrones is like the only TV show that I'm still looking forward to, too. Right. Um, which is unfortunate. 
but yeah. it's because I just don't take the time to watch TV anymore. Even like Netflix style television. I can't wait to see Jamie except for Marvel. The life out of Cersei. Yeah, I don't know if he will. He's because such a cucked well, bastard. It's, it's that's the way she's supposed to go. That's the way oh, she is. That how she it was goes told the by the the witch in the uh, woods. That, that's. Your brother I believe will that that's not you? her brother, by her, oh, her, so her she beloved went, or whatever, or something uh, like that. She that, went to her gypsy lady. i have to go back and look. Yeah, yeah it was early. When, she, was, when she was told that she would be queen. Your, all of your children be, will be dead before you. A, a, a fairer, more beautiful woman will come along yeah. and uh, strike you down or whatever. Which <laughs> she thought for the longest time was Sansa. Right. She but, thought it was Marjorie. Oh, and Marjorie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you could totally see that th- yeah. there was that rivalry there. Oh, I didn't even know the Rog- Marjorie. I didn't. I didn't remember that. Yeah, no. You, uh, God, that show was layers. It's yeah. Great. I mean, come on. It's like it's like ogres. Yeah. <laughs> 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 ogres like onions. Ogres like ah. Uh, we don't need Shrek references in here. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> Oh, that reminds me. We went over to IHOP have you tonight, played that? and fucking uh, uh, Smash Mouth was playing. Oh, oh. <laughs> have you played? Have you seen why, YouTube? Fucking, uh, there's this video game where it's basically Slenderman, but Shrek, and yes, it is got I've seen it's those goddamn videos. traumatizing. <laughs> it's horrifying. Yeah, for I a mean, long time on uh, Left 4 Dead 2, I had uh, the tank was Shrek, oh, and it would say, "Play somebody's in my swamp." <laughs> <laughs> the album <of> Swamp. <laughs> Somebody wants to play that song. Uh, <laughs> that that, that would song. be just bad. It was horrifying. Oh, I don't, I don't want that. But kind of amazing at the same <laughs> I, time. I, I, I am scared now. I don't, I don't want that. I changed it to uh, Hank Hill. Tank my, Hill. <laughs> what, what's mine? Um, I haven't played that Eager game Raptor in so still? long. Yeah, it's Eager Raptor <laughs> doing the awesome series. It's got video, uh, just voice clips from that. It's like, oh, I gotta use the cigarettes are hitting my stomach. Ugh! And it's, <laughs> and that's, they're over there and shit like that. Like it's just random <laughs> dumb clips. And oh fuck! God damn it, Bobby! <laughs> Look, I'm jumping. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! But yeah. um, butter free. <laughs> I choose you. <laughs> oh god the pokemon uh tank hill crossover is that what that is <laughs> i don't know uh there was there was that video uh, where's it a flash <laughs> <laughs> that's the first thing i think of when i think of hank hill now <laughs> and it was, like, it was hank hill it's he was okay dressed, dad he, it's okay dad he was dressed as ash ketchum and threw out butterfree but he had bobby's face on it <laughs> the, some of the dankest shit i've ever seen uh Oh god, it was so dumb. Oh, but I love it so much. Um So I mean, how how much longer do we want to run here? I don't know. How I was going to ask we, you how long we're we've at been 50 going. something minutes. How uh, how much longer? I don't know. What else? Uh, well, I, I was going to say at least another 10 15 20 minutes. I mean, because we, 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 well, we got that news story that I, I read off. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Michigan Undercover Michigan officers now may not be able to sleep with prostitutes. May, may. not. <laughs> like, like, yeah, they may soon be barred from having sex with prostitutes like, wait a while, while undercover. That's not, that's not frowned <laughs> upon already. <laughs> like, no, apparently it's not. I was sitting here and I was reading the, the article. Um, when in Michigan. <laughs> yeah. When in Michigan become an undercover cult so you can have sex with the prostitutes legally, it's okay. Yeah. But I mean, apparently it it's being uh, of course it's being um pr- proposed by a Republican. Oh, of course. Um but yeah, it it's like if the officer engaged in sexual penetration while in the course of his or her duties. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> uh and jobs are fine. Like yeah okay you get a hand job all right yeah. but like if you go over the further, pants HJ or under the pants HJ I don't think it matters um, yeah neither one is I, I guess it I guess it depends on how messy you want to be um, God but yeah like like Blech. I I get where she's coming from it's not that she has a problem with them fucking the prostitutes it's that because uh, it's being it's being uh, suggested by Senator Judy Emmons is that new. That's an alternate fan. Isn't that uh, fucking okay. awesome? That's pretty awesome, yeah. Sorry, oh. Ron just showed me a alternate poster for uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi. It's got that's Snoke got and Rey. On Snoke and Rey. And uh, Kylo Ren in the place of Rey. See, if that had been the one that that's came out. That's the poster I want. I that want that would, on my I wall. would immediately say, okay, Rey's going dark side. Because, like, I, I want to sympathize with, uh, you know. Right. 
you know. I, I was sitting there Kylo, reading. but. <laughs> but I mean, you killed Han Solo, buddy. Yeah, no, you you he, can't be redeemed. You, you don't get redeemed. You don't done. you don't get to get redeemed. You killed Han Solo. <laughs> Look, it took how many years to between <laughs> the uh, 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 prequels to the new trilogy that we can forgive Anakin for killing younglings? I still, I mean, no. <laughs> like, I feel like I feel like he. There isn't going to be no redemption for him. It's just going to get worse and worse, just like it did for Anakin. I right. want him. I want him to be as badass as Vader or more. I want him to get to be that level, so I don't want him to come in like I don't, have a redemption. I don't think he. I don't think. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Yeah, Snoke has has like bring him in, plucked him to be you know trained further, right? Take his next step or whatever. So we'll see. And he seemed extre- extremely powerful towards the beginning of that movie, but he ran into the fucking Mary Sue. <laughs> oh yeah, and I mean Ray over here. Fucking hey, goddamn! Look, let look, me look. just pick up a lightsaber. Oh fuck! She knew how to fight beforehand, <laughs> and he was shot by a bowcaster. They spent the entire yeah, movie I always, showing absolutely wipes the floor with people. I always show. Yeah. I always throw that in people's faces when yeah. they're like, yeah. "Dude, Ray beat fucking Kylo." I'm like motherfucker! Yeah. It shows the bowcaster blowing stormtroopers yeah. thirty right. fucking feet I mean, off into the distance, you, and he you, took you, one right to the fucking abdomen. Yeah, and then like, punched it's it. It's like <laughs> bashing it to try and fuel himself. To like, like, come on, that himself anger off. Yeah. yeah, it it's never it, like you've seen the bowcaster throughout the series. It is not a, a fucking. Like, it's not a lightweight weapon no. in, in the well, least. What I, what I was getting at is I don't yeah. think he's going to be nearly as as capable in the Force as Ray is going to be because I think we're going to find That'll out exactly who way. Ray's yeah. parent parents are, and I'm pretty sure um, one of them ain't going to be a fucking mugblood <laughs> like fucking Han Solo. <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, I'm still pulling for the uh, her being related to. Uh, Obi Wan, Obi Wan, yeah, I could see that. That that would be. Really I like cool. that. I like that uh, combining I mean, a little bit. I don't bit need with her the... to be related to anybody, but she. Yeah. They're 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 building this. They've they've made it to where she kind of needs. Yeah, to if be. they yeah, hadn't, I mean, there's, no like, there's no other way. That's the way they could be. That's the direction if she wasn't the abandoned on a in. abandoned on a planet like that. Like her parents were, she has to wait for somebody. She's waiting on someone to come back and get her. Yeah, then I could accept it. You don't don't at the end of fucking episode eight go. Oh yeah, her parents <laughs> were just two random fucking schmucks, and so and so found her and put her over there. Like even if it was like Skywalker found her and she's really powerful in the Force, don't give me that her parents weren't special. Her mid- Chlorian count is on. Yeah. Like, don't, we don't, oh, we don't I, will, ever, I will fucking don't set the theater that, on fire. We don't say that. <laughs> we M don't word. say that. I, 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 you know what? I'm right there with you, yeah. so I'm going to make sure that I have a way to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bringing a Molotov in with me, and if that comes a thing, I'm, we're totally lighting it. You probably won't even have to worry about it. There'll be 18, 20 other nerds doing it with you. They would yeah. never do that. There would be I, a riot I don't of think epic proportions. I mean, uh, Disney knows better. Liam Neeson Force Ghost comes I'm in thinking, and just reminds everybody of their metaphorian oh, counts. I'm thinking uh, Hayden Christensen, like uh, they said on he's supposed uh, Jedi to be Council. In it, yeah, as a yeah force I think ghost. he's going to be a Force Ghost. And I'm okay. Yoda I've, also. I've, I've gotten to the point where I'm okay with that. Yoda, I think. Um, Why wouldn't they be? Speaks when Han, in the trailer. When, when Luke's in it. What? Yoda, I think, speaks in the trailer. Or they cut a line <laughs> from. Uh, well, the original trilogy. Yeah, of course, if he's in it as a force ghost, there was that why sound. wouldn't he fucking speak? Yeah. yeah why, I mean, come on. Like, why? It's Yoda. Yeah. Luke. Luke. You mean Larry Skywalker? <laughs> <laughs> what? You didn't see that episode of John Oliver? What Oliver? other force ghost uh, would there be? Maybe, oh, my I don't God. Know. It was the last other, week's episode. Oh, what I other force ghosts yeah, would Luke be interacting with? You need to watch that. I mean, he could interact. He's got a lot that he could interact with. There's three, Obviously, specifically. Yoda. And, obviously. Uh, his father. Yeah. Possibly boom, even Qui Gon. They got to be in. There. <clears throat> he, he had. He had. No, I don't no think. Interaction I don't, with don't get me wrong. I don't Qui-Gon. think there'll be some Qui Gon. But you um, never know, though. That's the it, thing. like in Legacy. I, I believe one of the books or comics something had Qui Gon. No, Qui Gon trained of a Yoda. Be one thing. You know. Yeah. At least in Legacy, the Qui-Gon in between. N- not trained. Qui Gon. Yoda? Uh, the... Yoda was fucking goddamn ancient. No, no, no. After he died. After Qui Gon died. And in, in, there's some story, and I could be completely wrong. You mean but he, I thought, taught, he trained uh, Yoda to be a Force ghost? Yeah, that, oh. he hinted towards it. Oh, uh, okay, okay, yeah, I, I, dude, okay, I'm I can not, accept yeah. that. I'm not sweaty enough, and I love Star Wars. But right. I'm, I'm pretty, not, like, I'm pretty sweaty, but I might be completely wrong. Star it might have been Obi Wan, but I thought it was Qui Gon who, uh, like, kind of showed Yoda how to do it or something. You get into like Lord of the Rings, then yeah. I can get sweaty with you. But yeah, 
I don't know. I I can't fucking wait for this movie. <clears throat> yeah, I, I really want it to be. Hey, hey, and you know what though? We're we're we're, we're less than we're less than eight months away. So God. we're 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 inching there. So we're inching towards there. Just gotta get to the holiday season. Yep, and it's gonna be rough. It's gonna but we can make it, guys. We have plenty of great weekend. movies in yeah. the way. I mean, I I know there's like a damn near below zero percent chance uh, that charity contest they have where you donate and then uh, you get. Uh, oh, you donate five hundred thousand dollars, and they will yeah, do a private donate, screening in your yeah, hometown. You five hundred thousand, and you get like a five million uh, chances to win right. that that prize package where you go to Skywalker Ranch, and, right. and all that shit. I'm like, I know there's no chance, but I still paid like thirty Dude, bucks. Fuck all that. I don't just wanna, for a chance. I'm like, I, don't, I, I, I would just, die. I just want to walk around, you know, Lucasfilm. Yeah, or go to ILM yeah. and shit like that. I don't, yeah, that'd I don't, be great. I fuck see in the movie. I just want to walk around, right. and look at all that we, shit. We we will uh, pay our twelve dollars to see the movie on our own. Yeah. Just just give it. Just, just let us know. look in that. A screening God, at Skywalker Ranch? I'm not, Are you kidding me? Yeah, but I'm not saying that. that would but be amazing. what I'm well, saying it's is, just I agree Skywalker with Skywalker Ranch. You're going to see right. a bunch of studios. Right. Well, okay. See, that's the thing though. I agree with Ron. Like, I'll pay my twelve dollars to see the movie. Just let me go there. You know all the other films that Lucasfilm and ILM has have been involved with. Yeah. Legendary, the absolute shit ton. All of them. Yeah, which is fine. I like <laughs> really all of them. That's why. Either way, I, I I would be happy. That's why the contest. Oh like, yeah, I mean, you hang I mean, out with the cast of Han Solo, which is less about the fact that it's the Han Solo cast and more about that it's uh, fucking. Um, I don't care about these. The two oh, shit. Who's in that anthology movie? movies? Um, I I don't know. I haven't actually heard anything about the because I I I've been Woody Harrelson. I've been and, busy with other things. So aside from what you guys um, have fed me, I have no uh, idea. Donald Glover. Donald Glover. Yeah, I just Don, want to be able Don to Glover. like Don meet Glover. Don Glover and Woody. Harrelson. I was paying bills. I was an adult. <laughs> <laughs> That's who I'd want to meet from that cast. It's like, hey, you're in a Han Solo movie. That's pretty cool. Tell me about how it was to be in Spider Man and fucking Zombie Land. <laughs> Tell, Tell me, me why you're not Miles Morales. Fuck. Yeah. Hey. Because he's too old. That's a pretty oh, simple shit. answer. I mean. And because uh, we're going to start Spider-Man. If you're going to start Spider-Man, start him with Peter Parker. Do a Miles Morales after the fact. Fuck, do both at the same time. It, 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 the rumors that I was hearing was that Sony was thinking of doing a Miles Morales storyline. Is that what I was um, hearing? They're doing an animated movie this summer, which we didn't talk about in our movies of the I year. didn't know, so. Yeah, it's. I don't even know if it's been, like... Confirmed yet? Well, anything it, about it, yeah. Right. I'm pretty sure it's this summer. Um, he's doing the voice of Miles Morales. But, um, That's such horse shit. He's not a fucking forty year old man. But he's too. He's, is he, is he he's gonna too do, old to just, do? Is he gonna pull some Childish Gambino and, and rap a little bit? I, fair I, enough. Yeah, he's not cool. a teenager, right? You just need to tell it. Just Toby Maguire was a man. Was a grown man. Yeah, but that, <laughs> in, he was in like. I love those movies, but I hated <laughs> Toby Maguire as Spider Man. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like they definitely could have made better you choices. Make some with concessions that. here. I don't yeah. know who else I'd want to play Miles Morales. I think there's plenty of people that could do it. Well, sure. But and I mean, you get somebody who's not a well-known person, just like you got Tom nobody Holland that I'm like, pay, fuck uh, yeah. Tom Holland's a British dude playing British British dude playing a, a what a bro- kid from Brooklyn. Yeah. Uh, hey, you know he it. did it great in he, uh, he, Civil War. It was beautiful. I, I got to say, it was beautiful. I, he was I, the best part of Civil War. It brought a tear oh, to my cool. inner my inner childhood. There like, were so many good parts. Of that Captain movie. fucking Bucky goes to throw a punch. He's just like, oh fucking dude. Hey, cool metal, metal arm. arm. <laughs> Where'd you get that? That was awesome. No Bucky's just looking His like. Face. And Bucky Cap- was like, what the fuck I is up with this kid? I love that interaction between him and Captain America. Usually people don't talk this much when they're fighting. Right. Oh, really? Oh, okay. My bad. In the, tra- <laughs> in the trailer, that kid's like, you met Captain America? He's like, yeah, stole his shield. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <Stole the> shield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and that makes me all the more excited for this the, the homecoming, man. I want it I want it now. I, want, I don't want Michael it. Michael Keaton wanna... is the vulture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks like a fucking boss villain. Yeah, no, he definitely looks menacing. I gotta say, he's like, taking a villain that I, the only experience I had with was like one episode of the animated show, and right. it, in the show he was like a ninety-year-old geriatric mm. guy with a crazy-ass condor suit. Speaking of Michael Keaton, yeah, there's this new movie coming out. I just released a trailer for it called American Assassin. Yeah, I just heard about. And I that. watched the trailer. I was listening to uh, Collider and they yeah, talked it up. I'm like, I heard oh, about fuck! It. I'm God damn it! They sold me. I gotta yeah. stop working and listen. <laughs> watch this. <laughs> four minute trailer uh sorry yeah. and um it's basically the the punisher frank castle this this young guy he 
he gets his whole life fucked up. Yeah. And his his family gets or his family and his his girl gets murdered and uh he gets plucked to this chick plucks him and basically went like oh he's he he'll he'll be good mm-hmm. for this and she sends him to Michael Keaton cuz he's apparently the this, greatest this bad assassin. motherfucker and uh this this cocky little shit in the trailer is like he's like how do I how do whatever I not verbatim how basically how do you know uh, how do I know that you're you know you're good enough? And the kid is all cocky and is like, "Well, um, maybe we should just do like you know hand to hand combat or whatever. If you're as good as they say you are, you should know immediately." Yeah. <laughs> and and then it cuts to the next scene and like this training scene, and Michael Keaton hands him a knife. He says, "Kill me." <laughs> all right, he goes to swing the knife at Michael Keaton, and that's where he done fucked up. <laughs> Michael Keaton looked so badass. Does it look better than, uh, like, even though I love the movie, does it look better than the fighting in Taken? Or did they I not mean, show it much based of it? on, you get about 10 seconds okay. of that. So there's not, like, 40 got, jump like, cuts for him to jump over not, a not, fucking <laughs> fence or something? <laughs> not because fucking Campia said so yeah. on Collider. But it did. I did get a vibe, That's like, this kind of vibe, so. like... like it came. It feels like this movie that's going to come out of nowhere, like yeah. John Wick did. Like you, it's that's like, what, what's this yeah. movie about? And then you watch the trailer, and you're like, oh fuck, yeah. And it, like John it's Wick, be like one of the, uh, the Kingsman. Movies. So yeah, yeah. So check that trailer out, American Assassin. Sounds good. Hopefully, uh, it seemed it was like a movie I should have no interest in. Now right. I kind of want to go and see it. Right. Hey, I, honestly, any movie that showcases some sh- cool shit like that without using yeah. a 47 jump cuts. I, like like That's they did to show about. you know show Liam Neeson jumping over a fence. Even though he was Batman, but he was never really that badass guy, right? That badass mm-hmm. like action star, that badass actor. I like that Michael Keaton's getting some shine. Mm-hmm. He's coming his back old the age, way that uh, right. as the badass that he you know he he seems like he could be right. in movies, or he probably even is in real life. Like maybe he's maybe he's like Chuck Norris in real life. Well, he's like Liam Neeson. Like it, Liam Neeson, I don't remember getting badass roles before. <coughs> Yeah, and then all of a sudden, immediately, you're like, "Holy shit, this guy's a badass!" Like, Liam Neeson just trach punched about thirty seven people. Yeah, like he takes punching shot. people in the throat. Take a taken game. <laughs> take a shot every time Liam Neeson Liam Neeson punches somebody in the throat. You you're on the floor by, by the, the time he's the on the boat. <laughs> you're on the floor by the time he finds the first guy he's looking yeah. for. So I mean, well, like Denzel Washington's in the same kind of like aged badass, but he fucking had to work to get there. Oh, absolutely. he's been a badass in so many movies. What for was so that long. movie? I didn't watch that. The Equalizer. The Equalizer. You oh gotta go see God. that. Oh no, you gotta see that. That was Did you guys great. go see that movie? No, uh, I, I, I rented it. Somebody, I, I rented it on a. I rented it on Google Play a few yeah. months ago. No, you. you that movie yeah, was, was fucking awesome. It's supposed to be a sequel coming yeah, out of that. What the fuck too. happened to him? He was in the fucking the book of the book of Eli book too. Of Eli, yeah. yeah. Man on fire. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, there was another like fucking bodyguard movie with him too. I mean, yeah, he's in a ton. Fairly of Fairly recently, it seemed like he was he jumping was on the action train. You know. He was just in uh, the uh, like an Oscar nominated movie. The, the I think his co star won the best uh, female co star. Maybe you I know might what be wrong. He needs to be mending fences. He was he's in that. probably way too old. What? I wouldn't be mad if he was an older John Stewart in the Green Lantern movie. I don't think they could afford him, though. They probably wouldn't afford him. I'd, I'd be fine with it. But yeah, or get think, him on board for all those movies. I think that would be a, yeah. Because you ain't killing John. You're not oh, keeping absolutely him around. absolutely not. No, shit. Yeah. Like I said, John, like your, your, your Green Lantern is Hal Jordan. My, my Green Lantern is John Stewart. That's who I saw. I fucking over. love John Stewart. Or Dream. He could not, I don't know, he could play fucking Martian Manhunter. John Johns. That would be amazing. <laughs> Like, like you're just sitting there and you see him on the screen for the first time. He hasn't said anything yet, and then he t- starts talking and he sounds like Denzel Washington from <laughs> yeah. from like what was the what was the movie? I, I just watched Training it not too Day. Long ago. Yes, Training Day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly what I was thinking of. Like they decide like, to go all out. Yeah, to make that, John that Jones would, a bad motherfucker. That would be my more dream casting because uh, for him, anyways, because there's only one choice for John Stewart, <laughs> and it is it's Idris not. Elba. Yeah, Idris Elba. Is John Stewart, and I'll be bummed when I see any other dude get cast. I mean, that other guy is great. Yeah, I forget his name. Uh, his um, like, but yeah. his name's hard to pronounce. Period, he just the guy uh, from, uh, he just won that. Uh, oh, he was he in, just hit um, big at the awards and shit like that. Uh, uh, Moonlight. 
Moonlight, um, yeah. Ma, 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 he's got a weird name. He was. In, You're always spitting his name out in chat because like, I have to pull it up and Google it every time. <laughs> Just I want to. I I, I got to be honest name. with you. I'm not even going to try. Um, Diamondback from um, Luke Cage. Oh, Mar- Marshala Ali. Marshala Ali. Yeah. yeah, I think that's how you pronounce He'd it. Mar- actually, I would love to see him. When in that, I that role. saw his face <clears throat> without having seen him act or you know hear him speak, I was like, whatever. Yeah, I'm not into it. You then mean I cotton saw first. Him, guys? You the, mean cotton mouth? Co- I'm sorry, I called him Diamondback. Diamondback, yeah. Diamondback was a crazy motherfucker. Yeah, that okay, came they, later. I don't want him. The way to I see no, anything, no, the way no, he no. carries himself, right? He's he seems like a fucking really like stand up, well spoken. Yeah. Fucking, like, he seems like he could play the part. Like, a serious, like... A serious, logical, imposing. intelligent fellow. Yeah. And he's yeah. definitely imposing, because he played Cottonmouth, man. I was like, this dude's fucking yeah. crazy. But the, not in, so, like, the crazy way, but, like, in the... He's gonna kill you if you step out of line way. Yeah, I've warmed yeah. up to him a lot. Like, Idris Elba is number one choice for Jon Stewart. But, uh, yeah, Marshall Ali... Second choice. Uh, I would. I would sure. totally be down for that. He's got the um, acting chops. Now, I oh love yeah. Too. Oh, now, I love. I love. No, I don't even know where to begin. Like who I would want to play Hal Jordan because Hal is kind of a vague character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, do you go, you know, late twenties or do you go like late thirties? Mm-hmm. You go late thirties. Do you just cast Matt Damon and get Matt Damon and Ben Affleck as Batman and Green Lantern <laughs> oh, in the same don't. movie? Just, I'd be so Come bad. Come on, dude. Loki uh, and uh, I'm sorry. I'm just, I just, uh, I just set up no. a terrible movie. I just want to see it. Like, it's like an MTV Movie Awards skit. <laughs> I would love to see it that way. Yeah, like, in that form. Coming yeah. up, Batman? <laughs> we can... But, I think. What's I your think, power, Batman? I think he actually would be a pretty decent He's how. rich. Yeah. Um, <laughs> who the fuck no, would play God, how? he'd be an awful. Like, the, uh, Hal Jordan was the dude from Firefly. He was well. Fillion would be my no- Fillion. I yeah, love is, Fillion. He's is getting a little like old, Idris and I don't Elba. think Fillion's, he's too old now. Fillion ain't in good enough shape to play Hal. <laughs> I think he get it, he would, he's there no yeah. longer. I, I Fillion around the time Serenity came out was. Yeah. I think would have like, been a perfect it's just a, it's he a was fucking Hal crime I mean, that Nathan Fillion too, is was so. not a fucking goddamn superstar. Yeah, Fillion is amazing. Yeah, he, he's <laughs> the superstar that Hollywood missed. Yeah. Uh, Serenity is such a now. I have no guys, idea. Guys, perfect casting. Nick Cage, <laughs> go away. Um, <laughs> I would literally cry. <laughs> that would be the worst choice not, they could make. Good, I can't remember good. the guy's name, but he's one of the people in the uh, cast. New him as cast Nick Cage remake. is Brainiac. <laughs> That'd be fine. <laughs> I don't know, man. What's you don't name? cast Nick Cage as anything. <laughs> no, you just let Nick Cage be Nick Cage. Uh, Okay, what about Zac Efron? Shut up. Why? No, get the fuck out of here. He's not a terrible actor. He's pretty good as a... Uh, I um, mean, not when you can get... Who is in The Nice Guys? I've, I'm blanking on names. This, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan Gosling? You, not when you... I, okay, Ryan, Ryan Gosling, Gosling is a yes. far better choice. Give me Ryan Gosling, but I don't, I don't see Ryan Gosling taking the deal for that many movies. But I, I would take either one. I, but I think Zac Efron could do it. I think he'd be good. If don't you're going for a me. very younger <laughs> Hal Jordan... You're not though. Yeah, no, you don't they're, think they're they're so total, no, absolutely I mean, not. They're I mean, no. you look at how they're they present Batman. You're talking early thirties. Yeah, at yeah. May, I heard they were maybe going like the buddy cop thing. They're kind of like late thirties, yeah. but I don't think they're going to do because I think you go a much older, um, not much older, but I, you go with an older John Stewart and a, a little bit younger Hal. But I mean, either way, I'm going to be hopefully happy either way. But I don't know. I guess they tried it with Ryan Reynolds and it didn't work. So go with somebody is a, older. Go with somebody. It's a hard thing that, to though, get into. Because... And it's not Ryan Reynolds' fault. <laughs> right, it was, yeah. The movie was bad, but I think they'll like try and go a different direction. Now. Right. This is a hard thing for me to get into because I'm so touchy with yeah. Green Lantern. Right. Everything. Right. Like uh, it's my favorite. One of my favorite. So who they cast the it for? Kyle there. Rayner. <laughs> um. Man. Dude, I actually you just broke I, him. Actually, yeah. come to think about it, I did have a. Uh, I don't think an anyone's idea. even thought about that. I have. Right. I, have. Yeah. I, 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 I have. I mean, um, okay, how many people are in this world? I, I'm sure someone's. Thought oh well, no, give come granted, on, yeah. But I mean, people that talk about movies and things like that constantly, right, yeah. even though they know he's going to be in there, like he's not. He's not a person they're thinking about actively. I don't know. I don't think we're going to get Kyle Rayner uh, for a long time, anyways. Although, but I love Kyle. There was that uh, whole rumor Kyle that they were so going to do all of them. Like, 
And maybe they get just a small cameo. Well, I mean, aren't they like supposed that? to do a, a Lantern Core movie? Well, that's supposed to be yeah, they are he's going to get right. It, he's part of the core. Right? They said there's going to be Guy Gardner know, too. At first, there right. were like four. Yeah, but you're going to get. It's mostly going to be like a lethal weapon kind of buddy cop thing between John mm-hmm. Stewart and Hal. So that'd be kind of cool. Fucking perfect. <laughs> you're not getting. You're not getting them <laughs> at first for sure. Right. Probably not. Here's here's what I want. <laughs> I want Luke Evans as Sinestro. <laughs> Really, what I want is Mark Strong to come back as Sinestro, but they won't do it because they they don't want anything to do with that movie. Yeah. Mark Strong, after watching that movie so many times, was so like perfect as, as Sinestro. They right. don't want to have was, anything to do with it. But I don't know why they couldn't. It's a comic book character who has such well, an iconic look. Because they right, just go yeah. for it. They Dude, exactly. They, stick with that. They yeah. fucked up. Parallax, they fucked up the yeah. the entities. But you got the, that the right. Entities, at least. like no, they have. A, there's a lot of other, a lot of other Green Lantern sweaty shit that they butchered. Also, no, no, no. I'm they talking saying just Sinestro. That shit. right? Might as well keep that. Yeah, I, I would say, I would say, bring I that. I don't, I don't think anybody's so familiar with Mark Strong and his likeness in that movie. They'd be like, oh. Is this a sequel? Yeah, that guy's you bring back Ryle, they've Ryan already Reynolds. Gonna, sure. Oh, absolutely. Because yeah. I mean, but, he's a he's a really huge name now. They're already I mean, going to fight all, with. Is this a sequel? So right. They're going to have to deal with that anyway. Mark, right. I don't think Mark Strong's going to confuse people. Mark Strong was he was pitch perfect. Sinestro yeah. from the New Fifty Two and Sinestro thus far from Rebirth. Yeah, spot Which on. Which is what they're seeming to go with. Spot on. His fucking attitude. His right. his right. tone of voice. The way his the way. He, Man, yeah. Please, please, Warner Brothers, <laughs> don't do this to me. I'm already gonna cry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit at the, I'm gonna sit in my theater chair and I'm gonna fucking cry when I don't see. And I know it's gonna happen. I'm not gonna see Green Lantern at any point in no, Justice League. Probably, not. I'm gonna be so fucking bummed. Just keep your fingers crossed. There's at least oh, like an a ending test, cameo, a test pilot. You guys and like I both a. know we're gonna get to the end of the movie and I, all these rumors like, oh, we're gonna see Green Lanterns pop down or Abin Sur or Sinestro or who something. Crickets. I want. Yeah, I, I, probably. I probably. Get. Yeah, that, that's exactly what's going to happen. We're going to hear the rumors, but then nothing. I don't know. Just nothing. Like, I mm. think if there was, I think they had that. I really think they did. And with their whole changing the way the universe is spreading out, I bet they took it all out. Yeah. Or they may have recorded brand new stuff. Who Sorry, knows? any cyborg fans. Yeah. Sorry, I don't any like cyborg the look of fans them. and stuff. No. Now I don't know what story they're trying to tell. Maybe cyborg is great for the story they're trying to tell. You do not. You don't put Cyborg in a Justice League film. Yeah. The first Justice League film ever before you put in Green Lantern. Yeah. yeah. You I mean, I got to say motherfucker, please. You don't put Cyborg Batman, in there before you Superman, put even John Jones. Wonder Woman, right. Flash, yeah. Green Lantern. There's your big 5. Yeah. Then if you want to go crazy, you got Aqua then Aquaman, right. you want to go crazy, oh, yeah. then you bring Aquaman. in Cyborg, you want you Bring in I mean, Martian Manhunter. Right. Let's like, let's have something get that shit out of here. Growing up, the only fucking exposure I had to it's Cyborg was when the Teen, Teen Titans. Titans show was released in the mid-2000s. But growing up, Justice League was exactly what Ron just said. All of those characters. I don't even care how the, Green La- how, the last, how the first Green Lantern movie was received. Right. It is a fucking it – is it is – it's disgusting. It's like right. they're doing half it, of Justice it, League War. It's disgusting how they're treating Green Lantern. Like yeah. he's just this – this fucking bad, like ugly stepchild to them. <laughs> they don't want to touch with a ten foot pole because right. of oh my god the react like yeah was how great were the reactions to any other of the, of the fucking movies? I mean yeah seriously. Or, the, uh, <sighs> they, Get that's that back cyborg when they shit out of here. Fuck you, they cyborg. They expected uh, Christopher Nolan's uh, Dark Knight num- numbers. Who gives a fuck about and they Cyborg? Fucked it up. I, I gotta I'm sure say, there's a lot of Cyborg no, no, fans like out cyborg. there. He's fucking lame. I like he's Cyborg. Cyborg lame. is cool. He, he's, cyborg is fine. He's best with the Teen Titans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The comics. yeah. Like, I honestly, not only should he not be there, I think he looks like a fucking T1000 from Terminator. He lo- I think he looks stupid. When he's got his helmet on, he looks like fucking Iron Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what they're fucking going they, for. They directly uh, copied the scene where the the fucking headshot where he's like 
flying up into the sky. And, like, <laughs> I gotta say, take for um, take. <laughs> what little I've seen of Cyborg, I I, I despise it. Maybe he's I, probably I, gonna be fucking awesome. I'm. I, I probably. I, I wouldn't love, doubt it. I'm a DC guy. Right. I love comic books. I'm not like rooting for him to be shitty or anything. But, but, but it's I, just disappointing. I gotta, that's I gotta the way insulting. Yeah. yeah, I gotta say, how they're when treating I, Green when, Lantern. When, when I see that, when I see the, the trailer, I feel like he's he's too small. Yeah. He's too small, and he's it, it's there's too much reliance on flashy high tech shit, I, which I get. I understand. Like a, he's a fucking cyborg. He looks like a like Megatron, like a like a fucking transformer. Yeah, he transformer doesn't look yes. like effects. he doesn't look like part human. He looks like like less than RoboCop. It, it, it looks like, uh, yeah. Which RoboCop is all steel, and he looks like Kato. Like you guys, um, no, with the eye. You know, you know what he makes me. Which, the eye is okay. That's always been cyborg. Nobody reminds me of. He reminds me of like the shitty cyborg enemies in Turok 2 that you eventually fight <laughs> at, like in the real late levels. That's what he reminds me of. It's like I don't like it. I don't, I, I don't no. like his look. I just I, he looks the, like a synth from Fallout the Green 4 Lantern too. movie is just no excuse. You look at the yeah. comics. Green Lantern is an integral part of their slate right. of comics. He, right. Blackest Night, this huge event. It's fucking run through Green Lantern. Mm-hmm. It's a fucking Green Lantern show. It. I don't understand right. how they can I, I shit don't... on Green Lantern like this in the movies and uh, and Green Lantern gets so much play mm-hmm. in, in comics, in DC comics. I, I, I don't know. I I think it's too much inter- – I, I still do feel like it's too much interference from Warner Brothers, that they're still trying to control something they don't understand, that they don't know anything about. It's like just please leave them to do their thing. Do what – I, this is one thing where everyone's like, "Oh, they're copying Marvel." No, this is where they really they need do to need. copy Marvel. If this is where they need to copy Disney and Marvel there and should... give them the money, and then just fucking not think about it anymore. Well, you need to just you need to let filmmakers make their films and just yeah. back the fuck off. Just right. because you bought a Batman toy when you were you had a, your parents bought you a Batman toy when you were a fucking kid doesn't mean you know Batman, right. and know comics, and yeah. know the fucking stories. I, and especially when you have the comic writers, like the writers themselves, there, like fucking let them do their, let them, let them help, let them do their thing, let them tell the story, and get rid of Zack Snyder. I mean, DC's never, Zack Snyder never he, let the comic see, writers write the movies. I, I think you, I don't think you could do this though. But Zack Snyder, he he paints one of the best pictures. Yeah, no, don't don't film, like, don't get him, me wrong. Don't eliminate he just him needs completely. Needs to not but... be a director. <laughs> he needs to not be, <laughs> exactly. He needs to not be. Complete control. Yeah, right. you need to let him show. create those visuals. You need to let him create some of that awesome tension. But then let um, someone else. Handle someone else needs to write else. the dialogue. Right. Someone else needs to keep the story rolling. If if Green Lantern, not to continue fanboying over here, if Green Lantern is not, if 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 all that any of that is not referenced <laughs> at all in Justice League, <laughs> shame on Warner Brothers. Shame. And I don't understand. And he, just to add to that, I don't understand what the fuck's going on. You have Jeff, like you have you 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 have the guy in charge now, uh, allegedly, and like, I don't and, know and if he's he was... a gr- he is a Green Lantern guy. See, that's again, I don't think Jeff Johns Jeff has John... all the control, or uh, he's such a comic book guy that him doing movies is difficult. One of the single greatest runs in comics history, Marvel, DC doesn't matter. Yeah. is Jeff Johns Green Lantern run. I mean, he's great as comics. Um, that and might be their problem is they don't have somebody who can do the movie side of it as well. And also, I, I think Marvel started off better since they had Marvel Studios before they were bought by DC or by, by Disney. Uh, Disney. Yeah, Disney. I don't there's think not, he... there's not like a DC Studios for it's, the movies no, it's that they have some autonomy. There, it's all it's Warner Brothers. Yeah. Well, Marvel's just lucky that they have Kevin Feige, and he had made like thirteen yes. movies before Iron Man. Yeah, like so, I said, he kn- he knows movies, comic and book movies he loves before comic Iron books. Man. So, but they need to let Jeff Johns tell <laughs> write so, these stories. Do something, right? Jeff yeah. Johns can uh, do no wrong. Like and I said, I'm wondering what was wrong with Jeff Johns and uh, Affleck on that. Who was less good? Because now neither of them wrote that script. Yeah. Well, I mean. It's, I, it was probably the Ben Affleck show on that one. I, I mean, so. maybe, but I, Ben Affleck's an amazing, uh, talented writer and director. Yeah. So it's unfortunately had some. And I don't care how good Jeff John that. is. Batman is Warner Brothers' bread and butter. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. So they you don't care don't who you are. That, They're gonna so. do whatever the fuck they want to do, and your yep. say does not matter. 
Which is really a shame, but, I mean, what else can you really do? For the love of God, <laughs> Green Lantern, something. Do it, do it right. It's unfortunate. Don't that hurt he's me. He's over here crying for again. Green Lantern. And I'm like, I heard Guardians of the Galaxy has five after the credit scenes. <laughs> I'm so happy. Like, I come can't on, wait, man. Four of them can be baby Groot. I don't care if the end of the movie. All of them can be baby Groot. Yeah. Like a green flash of light, and then you see a bolt of lightning strike a kid, and it's just fast succession. See, that's what I do want. Something. I want a sh- something Shazam. Do oh, set up the other characters. Something. Some yeah, way. Especially if you really are trying to build a universe. Yeah. Well, fucking build the universe. Mention, mention Nightwing somehow. Like Batman right. has other like. People under him, like, proteges. Well, they did that well. With Set the, the movie Robin up. suit. Like you don't need it to. Yeah, be, Yeah, but like, that's all they spoken. had. But, other yeah, than like, that, they made it seem like there's no fucking other buddy else. Yeah, but yeah, Batman. Yeah, they made it seem like he had one Robin who died, and that's it in Gotham. I think they're doing that because of uh, the fucking James G- uh, Gordon's line. Like, oh, I see you're playing, playing yeah, nice yeah. with others. That's again. where they're going to pull that so. in. So I, I don't know. It's. I it's, hope that movie turns out. They didn't. They had a plan. Their plan fucking immediately got torpedoed after the reception of, but Man of Steel not so much, but especially of just of a uh, BVS. Their reception was bad. They had so many problems with getting directors, keeping scripts, writers, and then everything got torpedoed. Now they have to build it from the ground up, which I think they're doing well. I just at this point, it's like. Does Justice League matter as a movie to their fra- to their whole series, or a- a- after it's over, are we going to where there's going to be like a flashpoint reset? Um, it is better matter to be... them because this is do or die at this yeah. point. I wonder if Wonder Woman's not that great. It's not do or die yet. Yeah, come down to it. But I... if Justice League comes out and it's Batman v Superman all over again. Yeah, which there were things you you know there's things you can enjoy in that movie, but it wasn't a good movie. It's like there's um, a movie there. I just want to let everyone know how hard uh, that is for Ron to admit. <laughs> it's yeah, a, it's over. Yeah. He's such a fan. <laughs> we I walked mean, out of that movie, oh and Ron's my, like, holy crap. "Yeah, I that was. I did. Was I, great. I, I, dug, I think I dug the I fuck out it. of it. it like, was, I did. I mean, I'm, I'm like, sorry. Ron. I got to see fucking Doomsday <laughs> and Superman fighting at the end of the movie. And, I, 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 I got to say, I didn't see the movie, but I can definitely tell you that the debates between Luke and Ron raged for months after that. Oh, they did for a while, but it was it was kind of a sad effort on Ron's part. I'm just carrying that water up that hill. <laughs> And he's losing Sorry. gallons but, every few but minutes. But I, like I said, there's 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 moments in the movie that are great. It's overall that I think the movie is bad. And, and well, my problem was a lot of people, you know, give the movie a hard time in certain areas where they yeah. shouldn't, just because. It's not what they would have done. Like, I'm sorry, you're not the director, you're not yeah. the writer. Just because it wasn't what you would have done doesn't make it shit or bad for the story or bad. Like Lex yeah. Luthor wasn't Lex Luthor. He was a little too jokery or fucking, oh, you know, I, I fucking will, riddlery. That, was, that but, was a bad. That was a bad part. Not but, because it was different than what he, my interpretation he, is. I didn't. I there was nothing to like. I about think the character. that character yes. was. I see what they were going for. Yeah, anyways, I can imagine. Uh, you know, yeah. I mean, he was kind of you know psychotic, scary, and the fucking Jolly Rancher yeah. scene. But that uh, wasn't. Like, but that didn't pay off. No, to him being yeah. no, psychotic, it, scary. It, 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 it really <laughs> made him look more like, uh, like he had some kind of developmental problems. Or yeah, something. yeah. I then mean, you get to the he end, and he's just... like manic, spitting at spitting. Yeah, at like the well, piss jar thing and all this stuff. I gotta say, yeah, I never saw the movie, but the trailers with Lex Luthor were part of what turned me off to don't it to begin with. And it's not it's ever not because... watch the regular version, right? I gotta yeah, watch yeah, the ultimate edition, ultimate right? Ever. ever. But it's like three and a half hours. I'm like, I don't, I don't want to do it that. It was much better. Yeah. But like, like that, I gotta say, like, and it's, it's not what it's like. What Luke said, it wasn't because it was different from what I was expecting. It was because it was just bad. Yeah, it really like that. His 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 portrayal and the way they wrote it 
turn me off to the movie because Lex Luthor's always been this cool, calm, collected, badass dude, and they took him and turned him into a crazy kid Maybe with a developmental disorder, his like dad you said. Was the Lex Luthor that we that's the more what, familiar with, and that, that's true. very possible he talks too. About his father, that's very so. possible too. Because, like Let's I said, just, you look at the age of Batman yeah. or what the presumed age of Batman. He looks older. He looks gruff. So we're looking like I'm thinking maybe what Dark Knight era stuff here, where it's he's he's much older. Be, yeah. yeah. So it's like okay, Lex Luthor might be dead by now. And like all this Lex Corp shit. Why would you think that hasn't been like an established company for yeah. right. forty years? Right. Yeah. You're talking. You you're talking. Was, they they, they kind of say company. he right. he revolutionized Lex Corp. Put it. To where it's more of a uh, technological, but I mean, my whole thing is they looked like they were trying to create a evil, uh, a combination of an evil Steve Jobs and an evil, uh, but yeah, but that, that uh, was Mark my... Zuckerberg, which, yeah. like Steve I said, Erbel. could have been done well, could have worked. Yeah, see, that's but my towards point. The like, end, I'm not going to shit on it because it wasn't. Yeah. But it's just that it, exact character it didn't work. It it's kind of like the Joker in Suicide Squad. Oh, the, Again, oh. they went for something different, and I'm sure I just no comment they, on that because we'll talk about Suicide Squad for 15 yeah. minutes. Uh, we oh, won't yeah. go into how bad because that's that's not a bad movie. That's like, oh, it's got no, no. That's just a fucking bad movie, and it's a terrible goddamn cut. So, uh, yeah, that's we're a, not. Yeah, we, let's not go into that because we're already running along here. Um, so I, I think God, we should. I think we should. But yeah, end Guardians of the Galaxy five after the credits scene. <laughs> I can't wait to see okay, that. Okay, okay. Sylvester That's Stallone cool. is fucking. Sylvester Stallone's in, uh, or in whatever it the fuck somewhere. His name I don't is. fucking care where. Or is he in. Wait, was that. Oh, yeah, no, it's Guardians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's, in Guardians. No, he's in it. Okay. Um, yeah, Schnepp Guardians. Schnepp was like, we can't talk about it, but Sylvester Stallone, it's fucking awesome that he's in this movie. <laughs> Wink. Hello. Um, fucking Guardians and uh, Thor. I. I, I don't care about just. I gotta say, else. I gotta say that that tra- like, I, that, I that teaser trailer for movies, Thor. Those... I love that. I oh love that. Uh, that whole thing. I know yes, him. I know him. I, I know from him. Work. He's a f- yeah. He's I, a friend from work. <laughs> from work, and then Hulk just beats the shit out of him. <laughs> Hulk just looks at him like, yeah, no, we're not. God damn, that's I'm I'm uh, uh, one last thing about it. I think one of those five scenes in Guardians is going to be something with the Hulk leaving Earth. Right or something where they they like pass by the Hulk. He's some or they might be keeping a fucking secret bomb, and maybe he has like a, a small part in this movie. Yeah, bigger than a, based the on credits. the trailer, I bet it's awfully fast moving and montagey, yeah. and I bet you just get like a sequence of maybe him getting I'm fucking fine with abducted that. and like the Ravager. I want to see him there. beat the shit out of all the Ravagers. Like they abduct him and don't know what they've got. You got the Hulk in the movie. Shit's going down. They yeah. got right, a little yeah. Coliseum and containing the Hulk. No, of course not. <laughs> but Hulk, but, Hulk's going to Hulk at some point. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hell, he might be enjoying that Coliseum. He didn't look like he wanted to yeah, escape. Yeah, that is. He looked like this is where point, I should actually. be. I have this is where and I'm I think that's fun. why he wants to beat the shit out of Thor because right. he knows Thor's going to want to take him away. Right. This is where he. I'm a fucking monster. I like I, it here. Actually, that look things. he gave him kind of makes sense when you yeah. think about that. That look of Hulk was like, God, fucking damn it, you. This is of all I, people, why? Yeah. yeah, I think they're gonna have that argument of you need to come with me, comrade, <laughs> friend. <laughs> and then Hulk, no, Hulk, stay. Yeah, <laughs> Hulk, fight. All right, guys, let's let's go ahead and cut it off there. All right. Um, Thanks for listening. That was our bullshit podcast. We just sat here, smoked a and. and Really bullshitted about absolute random topics. No direction yeah. at all. None, and and that's the way. Uh, that's, that's the way, way we like done it. things. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 all right, guys, it's been the Ungodly Geeks podcast. I'm Joe. I'm Luke. I'm Ron. And you guys have a good day. <laughs>